Behavior-based interview questions are the keys to uncovering a candidate's future potential performance and fit with your organization. Your first interview and resume review will help you uncover the path that has led the job seeker to you and also helps you determine the preliminary fit. The behavior-based interview allows you to learn more about the types of decisions the candidate has or will make and how they'll react in situations similar to the ones that they'll encounter in your organization. Understanding that we view the interview process as an equation, the behavior-based interview helps us uncover further variables to ensure the fit in the position for both you and the job seeker. My name is Brent. I own the Vancouver Express Employment Professionals Office here in Vancouver and we see ourselves as HR doctors. In our previous videos, we've discussed our comprehensive job order process, the needs analysis and recruitment strategy, how to write internal job descriptions, and the difference between those and external postings, and why you need a comprehensive interview process. If you want to run the recruitment process on your own, we feel that you need to define these systems and processes to ensure you and your team understand the path that you're going to take and what steps you're going to follow that ensures there aren't any skipped steps and great candidates aren't missed. At our office, we typically utilize behavior-based interview questions in our second interview and use them to help us assess and determine whether or not the person's going to be a fit and if we're going to move forward with them. At the end of our first interview, we would look to schedule the second interview and share our core values, which is where HR doctors come from. Our core values are that we're helpful, resourceful, driven, relentless, and sensible. Using these values, we ask behavior-based questions looking for the STAR model, situation, task, action, result. We then create a rating model based on the candidate exceeding, meeting, or being below the requirements. To start our behavior-based interview process, I ask the candidate if they've ever heard of behavior-based interview questions, and regardless, I elaborate on what they should expect. A behavior-based interview question is about a specific scenario or instance that they can think of that pertains to the topic or question that is provided. The goal is for the applicant to recall or share a scenario that comes to mind and share how or why it's relevant. My first interview question is about our first core value, which is helpful. We're a team that's motivated to be helpful and selfless while working with integrity and upholding the highest ethical standards in all that we do. My question then is about a time where they had to be helpful and selfless. I further share my ask for the applicant is to provide a scenario in as recent memory as possible. If the most recent event was three or four years ago, then you may not be perceived as exceeding the requirement and might not be a fit for our team. I often share an example, if the candidate happens to be struggling, of someone who's driving and sees an elderly person needing assistance to cross the street. If someone pulled over, throws the hazards on, and helps that person cross, they're doing something helpful and selfless without being provoked. This is different than helping a customer find something in a store while you're working. While both may be helpful and selfless, clearly one scenario is a greater fit or would be considered as exceeding the expectation. Following this, I asked a few questions about why they did what they did, why they made the decisions they made, and what the end result was, remembering STAR, situation, task, action, and result. Our next question is for resourceful. Again, I give the context that we're resourceful and proactive in solving problems, striving to maintain transparency and an open line of communication on all levels. My question would be to share a situation where the candidate needed to be resourceful to solve a problem. An important point to remember is the candidate can provide an example they feel best represents a situation. It can be personal, school, or work related. It's also critical for the interviewer to determine if the scenario being shared fits the requirement. As these questions are a little different, it's common for people to make statements like, I'm always resourceful, or I had to be resourceful all the time in my last position. It's my job then to help them pick a situation that is specific and that fits and help them understand why I'm rejecting ones that don't fit before we go further. It's okay for the applicant to pass on the question and come back to it later as well. These questions are challenging and they can be very unexpected. You'll see as the interview that those who can truly respond with scenarios that tie to the business will stand out as aligned to the position and to the role. Our next behavior-based interview question is about drive, and the context that we provide for this core value is that we're driven and competitive in our approach to reaching our goals, always remaining focused on personal and professional growth. You guessed it, the question at this stage will be about a time that they were driven. I typically look to understand a personal goal if possible. Examples would be people wanting to buy a new car or achieving a fitness goal. These are great examples. Again, any situation that can provide context into what the goal was, why they set it, how they went about accomplishing it, and what set backs they may have faced along the way. The last question that we ask is about relentless. At our office, we're relentless in our quest for success, and for us, failure is not an option. I share that we're constantly innovating and we only fail when we accept failure. Anything else is just a lesson. The question for relentless is about a time where they experienced defeat or an obstacle when pursuing a goal and how they were relentless in achieving it. 
Again, applying the start method, we look for them to provide a situation as recent as possible, the task that they were responsible for, the action they had to take, and the result. Closing things off, I share our final core value, which is sensible. We seek to find sensible solutions remaining objective as we analyze all options, always keeping the big picture in mind. To me, this ties all of our core values together and shares how each on their own aren't nearly as strong as the collective. In using our core values for these questions, our applicants get a deep understanding of how we hold each other accountable, and what they can expect from us, and who we are as a business. At the same time, using the answers they provide, we're able to assess fit using the rating model based on exceeding, meeting, or below the requirements per the questions. If you've not asked these types of interview questions before, you should definitely do some research as there are countless resources on Google and YouTube. Just like riding a bike, it can be extremely awkward and uncomfortable, but it gets easy very quickly. You'll also be unsure in the early stages of determining whether someone is exceeding or meeting or below, but once someone shines, you'll start to rank people far more easily. Whether you partner with Express or run this process on your own, please take the time to go through these steps before moving forward with your interview process. We believe that it's so important that we do this for every search that we take. Thanks again for tuning in. If you'd like more info on Express, please visit our website, our Facebook, or our LinkedIn, which are all linked below. And feel free to reach out with a call, email, or text and ask us any questions you have about your interview process or about your next hire.